People like to drive their cars. They live in heated homes and watch TV in comfort. Our modern lifestyle requires a lot of energy, but we've learned that traditional forms of energy, such as nuclear power or oil, have negative effects for our environment and the climate. And so the race for renewable energy has begun. One alternative source of power is wood. Experts say Swiss forests could be much more intensely exploited without exhausting this renewable natural resource. Wood has been used for heating for a long time, but could it be used to fuel our cars or even power our television sets? Here at the Paul Scherer Institute, they've set up complex machinery that turns wood into gas. Gas that can be used to power a fuel cell, either in a car or to produce electricity. We are looking for a market in Switzerland. We think that once you replace an existing uh, wood stove, maybe with such a system, you get out something like 500 kilowatt thermal of heat, a band load that with a fuel cell based system, uh, there is an interest in having this technology. 500 kilowatts is enough to power 5,100 watt light bulbs at the same time. So how does this process work? Wood pellets are placed inside a container for combustion. Normally when you burn wood, you're left with charcoal. But in the container, air can be removed, which allows for partial combustion. You still end up with charcoal, but also gas. The problem with this gas is that it contains tar and other substances making it too dirty to be used as a fuel. This is what the research team is working on now, cleaning up the gas. They filter the gas through a catalytic converter, not unlike the ones found on car exhausts. Various instruments enable the researchers to see if the gas is clean enough to be used in a fuel cell. The filtered substances are also monitored. Every detail needs to be studied carefully before the technology can be implemented on a large scale. If we reach this efficiency, uh, cost targets we have in mind, the reliability, I would think within the next five to ten years you could have uh, a considerable number of these units. But we have first to show that the principle is, is, is really working.